This is one of the most exciting discoveries ever made in an abandoned asylum. In 2015, a group of explorers were checking out the old drowned Harbor State Asylum when they found a safe hidden behind a wall. Inside the safe, they found a box with the asylum's name and a key. And when they opened it up, they found these 12 glass vials filled with what looked like blood. But that's not the most insane part. The explorers took the box back to their hotel room, and one of them, who was a doctor, took a closer look. He realized that the blood wasn't actually blood, it was a carefully measured dose of a powerful sedative. And it turns out the asylum used these vials to drug patients before lobotomizing them. But the asylum was abandoned in 1994. So why were these lobotomy tools left behind? Well, the theory is that whoever was in charge of destroying the asylum's evidence forgot about these. And there's one other thing that makes this discovery extra creepy. The asylum was built in 1855, and the last message from the asylum's director, dated 1885, warned of a terrible evil that lived within its walls. Could this evil still be lurking around today?